All right, everybody. Uh, didn't even check what time it is. But I'm going to take a stab between eh, 7.30 and 8 o'clock. Um, which means I need to be leaving soon. About a half hour or so, to an hour to make it to church on time. Uh, just like my, uh, my mission and my life, my equipment is becoming more and more dynamic. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to soup kitchen today and I'm coming with full batteries or you know with a with a good charge on my batteries and the, I mean bringing bring an extra charger with me just in case my first one fails I, I got it, you know away um, I, normally I drink this but I'm not bringing this with me today I decided because uh, I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of stopping and parking I'm not going to be bringing cold foods home and delivering any kind of temperature food. If I do deliver, that's kind of what I'm getting at. I'm going to be trying to do deliveries today if I can. You know, why not? Try to give it a try. So, you know, I got my reflective vest, helmet, and, uh, you know, my bike of gear. And then over here, I went ahead and emptied out my... Uh, you know my uh, my book bag like literally my book bag so I got this to carry stuff with and I can uh, wrap that up toss it in the trunk and same with my cargo bag you know my big cargo bag it's I got it did it use it for uh, you know bringing home uh, food donations earlier this week used it for laundry yesterday now I'm gonna toss it back in the bike use it for food deliveries and if I can bring anything home I'm going to even when I even when I've got plenty of money and, and and plenty of resources and I'm not needy if I get donated food I'm bringing it home stocking it up to either redistribute or to consume especially stuff like chicken man now that I know how to cook chicken I'm going to know how to put, cook pork man if they just got that stuff just you know getting thrown away I, I, I'm not gonna I'll, 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 I'm cooking it and eating it man and if it's too much I'll put it in that cooler and that big blue cooler find a way you know like I said I'm gonna get a trailer for my electrically assisted bicycle uh, at the beginning of the month to carry stuff like that with you know um oh yeah I gotta return the trailer look at that I almost finished the cookies the, the big the big yo-yo cookies I didn't like and remember what I told you King of campfires man look at that nothing but just a pile of ashes and again this thing was just just too big to to burn all at once just i mean it was from there to there that big and i didn't even touch it with an axe or nothing just all this by hand and and great look that's the only thing out of it that wouldn't burn i did a good job cleaning that out now look at let's look at the raking look at the job i did raking this is by moonlight look at that you can just you can see the line where i just intentionally said that's my limit for raking in the dark. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can see it. It's it's a it's a dang it's a line. I'm really good at this, even in the dark. Just oh, I miss a couple, of, but that's not even missed. That was really just look at it. I mean, right along the power cord, and I stopped right here. And sure, they look look at it. Just, <laughs> it's, it's a line. Now I move that power line and. Break that up, break that up. Like I said, these these fire ants ain't got a chance. They, they, in fact, I mean, like I said, they got a couple on me that are stuck in that them logs and stuff as I was flipping them around. They got them. <laughs> that was the last spot that they occupied. And I intentionally, you see that, I intentionally just got that stuff in the fire. And they ain't got nowhere to go. They gone. Especially after cold last night. Oh, that was like perfect too with the temperature. It, get, get, it got cold. <laughs> I declared war on the ants for real. I engaged in some real warfare with them ants. And I won. Like, period. Like, I, there wasn't no way I wasn't going to win this war this time. Because I win it every time. But I do it more passively and get a little more aggressive every time this time it was just straight up 
you, you're going down and I, I'm, I'm not I'm not being patient about it but I'm not being in a hurry I'm gonna do it right watch <laughs> bye <laughs> I, yeah, I took some damage but they're gone now this I was man I've been wanting to throw this away and get rid of this and everything but just to burn it or to, to throw it in the garbage is good, you know. And, and I would, I was wanting to use it for insulation inside for the longest time. You know, it's kind of wet. I could dry it out, the mold. and all. That really doesn't bother me, but I'm worried about it bothering other people more than me, to be honest with you. But I think I figured out what I'm doing. Let's get that dried out. I'm going to set it up on the roof right here and then put the tarp over it and just keep changing the tarp out. That's going to take care of the, the, the water runoff it, yeah that's what I'm gonna do and then eventually if I do just get sick of changing the tarp out I'll just build some metal sheeting over this and leave this in there and just build the roof up and then run it downhill towards the back yeah that that's I, I'm glad I kept that I'm glad I just decided it's either going to be reused as a mattress or insulation because I'm just not going to sleep on that again because it's the, just no I'm going to use it for insulation instead of burning it or throwing it away and I just man I almost burned it last night I almost threw it away started cutting it up throwing it away this week I'm glad I just thought about it one more time and decided no just outside the camper but on top and cover just and I could do like I said just as soon as that dries out I could put that on there instantly already have temperature much better temperature control and much better rain runoff and the tarps will last longer too because you see the tarps all stretched out and pulled tight to try to keep the water runoff because of the it's not even and everything man I, I put that just i tuck the tarp around underneath it and it'll just run off you know what i'm saying uh too smart too smart and that I really want to do something with that, but don't want to fix the mechanics. If I get the tramper registered and actually end up driving around with it and like setting that, that you know office trailer up up there or something, and or buying another camper living to live in, or uh, who knows, or build a house. I might try doing that one day. Um, I don't think this is going to travel though really well unless I really do a lot of work. But I got the awning there just in case. Uh, but if I don't, I am going to at least 4x4 four four and, you know, 2x4 four and some uh, pressure-treated wood and make me a cover for for the for the front two doors and the area for a little porch. And, oh, this is what I was talking about. Look at this. I really have, you know, and I even got, you know, this set up to dump into a portable tank and take off to the, uh, to the waste. This actually got popped just trying to remove it. It's, I didn't mean for that to happen, and I'm going to try to fix that up. But, oh, yeah, that's this is always a pain in the butt. Um, yeah, uh, behind. No, that's the closet. See what I'm saying? It just fell off. Uh, there, behind the fridge is where that usually sits. Um, you, you obviously can't do that if it's propane powered. But I'll be honest with you, I think the fridge is working 10 times better, even in the summer, with that uninsulated. And it, and it just, I made that decision, and then I tried it, and it's working because I just understand thermodynamics. So what I really got to do is go in and seal this so that this doesn't need to be sealed. Because I think that's why they just shoved that in there, was just to keep the weather and bugs out from the inside but this thing, the way this thing is cabineted, with that sealed, it just builds up the heat, doesn't it? it evaporate or exhaust it, because the exhaust in this is actually for the ventilation for the natural gas to come in, so it's not drawing air in from this direction. When this is sealed, it's yeah, it's not ventilating. Duh! I just and I can't believe I figure all this stuff out, and and, and you guys. I think I can't wipe my butt without hurting myself. Uh-huh. Well, that's about 10 minutes.